Oh boy, I can't wait. I can't believe that I started a new camp called Mac. And I can't wait to eat my strawberry Pop-Tarts in celebration of this good event. <laughs> Where are my strawberry Pop-Tarts? <laughs> hey, you guys found my Pop-Tarts. Where did you find them at? One's one done finally. Pop tarts have a metallic a metallic case, so theoretically, it's attached to magnets. We can get a high power and high range magnet and the six you lost will snap back to me at the speed of sound. A dog it looks like it's a uh, dog buried the Pop Tarts. Use an Uno reverse card, then it'll come back. If not, look under the trash can. Take it out of your kitchen cabinet and cut it up. Insert same video as Coke bottle. And these are the people who didn't do the challenge. Uh, Bazooka, Antidepressants, and YouTube logo, and also Ninja YouTube, who still hasn't registered their character yet. And here's the results. So microwave, 10 out of 10, great job. I really loved uh, the style of picture that you drew. Um, it just was really great overall. Uh, Coke bottle, you got a 9 out of 10 because you submitted a video entry. And it was really great except for the fact that there was just a lot of silence in it. And um, that was fine. But I do like how you had to do, complete a kind of like an obstacle course to get it. Uh, laser pointer, you got 7 out of 10, uh, good job, but you showed where my pop-tarts were, pop were, but you didn't show how I got them back, so you like completed half the challenge, so I gave you a 7 out of 10. Uh, TV, you got a 6 out of 10, because I really liked the idea of using a magnet to attract the pop-tarts, but uh, you did a text entry, which uh, which is... is not really that great, but overall, I really liked your idea, so I gave you a 6 out of 10. Uh, Gundam, uh, I gave you a 5 out of 10, because you did your challenge in like 5 minutes. And, uh, it, and you said that they were in my cabinet, even though I lost them, but I just gave you a 5 out of 10. Because, I mean, get it out of your kitchen cabinet, lazy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I'll get it out of my kitchen cabinet. Uh, so yeah, that's why you got a 5 out of 10. Uh, Revolver, you got a 3 out of 10 because, uh, Uno reverse card, uh, and then look under a garbage can. Eh, not the greatest, but not the worst. Uh, Marshmallow, you literally just copied Coke Bottle's entry, which, uh, what, which landed you at the bottom spot. But overall, since this was a team challenge instead of an individual challenge, uh, Team Cheddar Chez, uh had 18 points, and Team High Flying Fans had 23 points, so ultimately they won. Because they had more team members participate, they had 4 out of 5 team members participate, while Team Cheddar Chez only had uh, 3 out of 5 people participate. 
And also, uh, for the second time in a row, someone quits the object show camp before it even starts. This time it's Lizard, so he places 12th. And so, since and since uh, Team Cheddar Ches is up for elimination, the high flying fans got to choose one of Cheddar, Ches, Cheddar Ches's members to to go home. Whew, this is a mouthful. But anyways, four out of the five people voted on Team High Flying Fans, so let's get started. Uh, these are the people who are safe with zero votes, which is kind of surprising since Bazooka and Antidepressants literally didn't do anything in the challenge. But uh, Coke Bottle did good, so congrats. So that means the bottom two are TV and Revolver. One of you is safe with a measly one vote, while the other is out with a record high of four votes. And that person is... And the person safe is... TV. Sorry, Re sorry Revolver, but you are the second person voted out of Mac. Uh, Revolver, you got 11th place because you're, you got the lowest lowest score for the first challenge on your team and did a text entry, which is pretty lazy considering you could have made a photo of a video or a video for your entry. But alas, it was a great time having you on the show, but it's time for you to go. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this camp uh, Mac the link in, there's a link in the description for you to be a spectator. Uh, if I choose to, I might not, but oh well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, who know? Uh, let's see. Hopefully, we'll see if the contestants improve their their skills for the second challenge, or and we'll also see if high flying fans can keep up their winning streak. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.